Hello everyone. Every year, March 8th is celebrated as International Women's Day to celebrate women's movement and struggle towards equality. As women constitute nearly 50% of the population in our country, it becomes very, very crucial to empower women so as to enhance the development and progress of our nation. As one of the step towards the women empowerment, it becomes very, very essential for every woman and girl to be aware of her rights. So in today's video, I am going to speak about the 11 exclusive rights the Indian women has in India. So please do view this video till the end to know your rights as well as share with your friends to create awareness. The first right is right to equal pay. According to the Equal Remuneration Act of 1976, working women has got the right to draw equal salary as men for similar work. Second, right to dignity and decency. In case if the accused is a woman, then any medical examination procedure performed on her should be done by a woman or in the presence of another woman. The third right is the right against harassment at workplace. According to the Sexual Harassment Act on Women 2013, women have got the right to complain against any form of sexual harassment at the workplace. She can submit a return complaint to the ICC that is Internal Complaints Committee at the branch office within the period of three months. The fourth right is the right against domestic violence. Section 498 of the Indian Constitution protects a wife, female live-in partner or any woman like a sister, mother or a daughter staying in the house from any form of domestic violence like physical, verbal, economic, sexual by a husband or male live-in partner or any relative. The accused may be punished with a non bailable imprisonment the term of which may range to three years or he may be liable to pay the fine. The fifth right is the female sexual assault victim has got the right to keep her identity anonymous. In order to ensure that the privacy of the woman who has been sexually assaulted is protected, she can record her statement alone in the presence of the district magistrate when the case is under trial or in the presence of a female police officer. The sixth right is the right to free legal aid. According to the Legal Service Authorities Act, the female rape victim has got the right to get free legal aid or help from the legal service authorities who would arrange a lawyer for her. The seventh right is the right not to get arrested at night. Unless and until it's an exceptional case, on the orders of the first hand magistrate, a woman cannot be arrested after sunset and before sunrise. Also, the law states that the police can interrogate a female at her residence only in the presence of a female constable or her family members or friends. The eighth right is the right to file virtual complaint. The woman has the provision to file a virtual complaint either by sending a mail or by writing it in a paper and sending it to the police station through registered post. A police constable would be sent to her place to record her complaint. This is in case the woman is not able to go to the police station and file her complaint due to any reason. The ninth right, right against indecent representation. Depiction of a woman's figure, either it could be her form or any of her body part, in any manner that is indecent or affects her public morality or moral is a punishable offence. The tenth right is the right against being stalked. Legal action would be taken against the offender if he or she follows a woman or tries to contact her to foster personal interaction persistently in spite of being clearly intimated that the person is not interested or monitors the email, internet or any form of electronic communication. The 11th right is the right to zero FIR. 
zero fir is a fir which can be filed in any police station irrespective of where the incident has taken place or the specific jurisdiction under which the case falls the zero fir can then be moved to the police station under which the under under which uh, jurisdiction the case falls this ruling was passed by the supreme court to save the time of the victim as well as to prevent the offender from escaping so these are the 11 exclusive women's right which women in india hold and each and every girl and women should be aware of these rights so that she can empower herself as well as promote the empowerment of others as Hillary Clinton has rightly said, human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights once and for all. So hope this information was useful to you and in case it was useful to you, please do give me a thumbs up, do subscribe to my channel The Counseling Corner, share my video with your friends and the most important is hit the bell icon so that you get timely notifications whenever I post my new video.